Hello? <laughs> I have new hair, everyone. Bring him, bring him to the hair, Bray. You guys? Okay. <laughs> I was almost gonna go for it. <laughs> you guys, I hope you like my hair. But I hope you like this video even more. Today we're gonna learn how to pick up choreography quickly. Really, the title rolls off the tongue. But for real, picking up choreo is a skill and it takes practice just like any other dance move. So I have some hot tips, some hot tips. You guys, we still haven't come up with a name for these little tips that I have. I love your suggestions so far, but I don't love them enough. <laughs> Anyways, grab some space. Grab your muscles and your arms and your heart and let's learn how to pick up movement. <laughs> Rule number one. Don't stand in the back of the room, people. You need to stand in front. If you know that you have a hard time picking up movement or you get kind of lost, maybe your class is really big or there's not enough space in the studio, mosey your way up to the front of the room, that way you're close to the teacher. So if she does this and this, you can see it without having to look through Sarah, Katie, Allison, Rebecca, Joanna, and then you're like, what was the movement? Get to the front, people! Okay, another important rule, friends, is to not look at other dancers. I know that's hard because you want to know if they're picking it up faster than you, you're wondering how well they're doing the choreography, but what that, that, what, what, okay. <laughs> I just did that so you can see my hair. <laughs> what that does is distracts your brain, your mind, your eyes, your focus from what the teacher is teaching you. So if the teacher is going through movement and you know she's teaching you or he's teaching you what to do and you're looking over here, number one, you're gonna pick up the dancers next to you, their bad habits, okay? You need to be focusing on who's teaching you and allow your brain one thought, one track by focusing forward instead of looking around. I know it's hard, but have discipline and focus on what you are doing and what the teacher is doing. Do the movement. Don't just stare at the teacher. <laughs> this is one of my biggest pet peeves when I'm teaching. I'll be like, okay, we're going from a Z sit to a leg over and a push and a pike and flex. And then I have one of my students like this. <laughs> I'm like, do you, do you have it or what's happening right now? When the teacher is teaching you and they say, okay, we're doing a Z sit, get into the position. We're doing a pull over, do it with them. We're doing a pipe stretch. I want you to be full out in this position and then flex it through. There are many different types of learners. I think there's like audio where you have to hear something. There's visual, visual where you have to see the thing. Um, and then there's kinesthetic and kinesthetic is actually doing it, like physically doing the movement. You learn it better. It gets into your body and dance Although it is audio and visual, it's mostly kinesthetic. You have to do something to learn it. So I know it's super overwhelming. You have like a thousand eight counts being thrown at you of choreo, but if you don't do it and let it soak into your body, into your muscles and to in how it feels, you're not gonna pick it up. So do it full out every time the teacher is demonstrating. That way you get the choreo right away without having to do it a million times. I don't know where the end of that sentence was going. You guys, do it full out. I love you so much. All right, class, let's go from the top. Ati. <laughs> that was so good, Bray. Um, can I ask for some clarification on the combo? You guys, it's okay to ask questions. So even if you're at an audition, well, at an audition, you don't want to ask a million questions, but you can absolutely ask one or two. Hey, can you go over the combo one more time, please? Can you break it down? Can you break down this one specific movement? Do you mind walking through from the top one more time? It's okay. Everyone learns at different paces and everyone learns in different ways. So if you're not totally clear and you need to go over the plie combo one more time because you didn't understand, how the arms are moving, ask. Don't be afraid to ask for questions and for clarification. 
that's what your teacher is there for. Good job, Mr. Graydon. Thank you. <laughs> Making noises. It's the ball, not me. <laughs> you guys, you need to bounce around to different teachers' classes. See what I did there, buddy? Did you really just do that? <laughs> I just thought about that in my own brain right now. But for real, um, memory and picking up choreography, like I said earlier, is a skill. And it's a skill that needs to be practiced and built upon. So don't get frustrated if you're new to dance or you don't take class too often, then you try and learn a brand new combo and you can't pick it up as quick. Um, it's really helpful to A, be in class often, whether that's online or in a studio. Don't limit yourself. If you wanna take class just from me online, I fully support that. Try and pick up all the choreo that I teach you. And the beauty of YouTube is that you can rewind it. The beauty of film, if you will. Um, if you're in a studio, awesome as well, go to different teachers. So what I mean by that is, if you took ballet just from me at a studio, you would get very used to how I teach, the style of combos I teach, the style of choreography, the speed that I teach it at, and you would get used to it. But if you go to different teachers, your brain has to be really sharp and your memory has to be on point to be able to pick up the different styles, the different tempos, the different ways of teaching and the speeds of teaching, and you will strengthen your memory and your pickup skills so quick and so well by doing that. So if you can, take from different teachers and bounce around to multiple different classes. I wish it was one of those, remember these things from like little kids and you yeah. could bounce around? Yes! Same thing. <laughs> You guys, film when it's appropriate. Hey, Bray. Hey. So, filming in class has become super trendy. Everyone makes it look really nice and polished, and then they post it on the gram, post it on TikTok. Is that what all the kids are on nowadays? Um, anyways, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, videos are not just for show, you guys. Videos are a learning tool. I sound like an I know the woman, videos are a learning tool, but they are, okay? If you're not very good at picking up choreo, it's okay. You need to, to strengthen that skill. If it's a little bit weak right now, take videos in class when it's appropriate. Um, don't video auditions, that is a big no-no. Please don't do that. Um, but you can absolutely video class, your rehearsals, whatnot. Sometimes you can even ask the teacher if they'll show the combo and let you videotape so that you can learn it at home and you can practice at home. Um, before you video, ask your teacher and just say, hey, I would love to practice this at home. I'm having a hard time picking up the movement. Would you mind if I film myself doing it or film you doing it or you guys can do it together, have a friend film. Um, but seriously, use video as a helpful tool for you to be able to remember choreo. Mental blocks. <laughs> Brayden, you guys, that was kind of funny, come on. Mental blocks are gonna stop you from picking up choreography. My, my, seriously, my real tip for this is to get out of your head and into your body. And I know that sounds weird. You're like, what the heck are you talking about, Miss Ati? I will clarify. Sometimes when we're learning choreography, we're nervous and we're like, oh my God, everyone else is picking it up so much faster. Or um, we start to go in this weird spiral of, am I the worst one in the class? Am I not gonna learn how to do the dance? When we do it in groups, am I gonna suck? Everyone's gonna watch me. Whoa, you have to stop all of those thoughts. You have to block them, seriously, from entering your mind, from entering your thought pattern. If you have those thoughts, it's okay. Let them go, but focus back to where you are. Your goal in class is to focus on the teacher and the movement and nothing else. So try and let go of all those negative thoughts that are coming into your head because those are seriously stopping your learning process. Um, if you're focused on everything that might go wrong or all of your anxieties and your worries and your stresses about picking up the choreo, you're not gonna pick up the dance. But if you clear your mind as best as you can, let those thoughts come and go without judging them so hard and just come back to reality, reground yourself and really focus on the movement and use all the other tips I told you in this vlog, you're gonna learn the dance. So do your best to and just learn the movement. 
You guys, whenever you doubt yourself, just know that you can do it. Please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> Um, you guys, seriously, it just takes practice. Um, whether you're new to dance, you're an advanced dancer, you're coming back, you used to dance, just get into class or get into your living room, put on my videos, and work on your memory and work on learning. Um, thank you so much for sending this idea in. A couple of you guys, a couple meaning a lot more than that, really wanted this um, specific topic. So let me know what else you guys want to see. And I believe we're already into October when this will be out. So it's not too late to sign up for exclusive content and sneak peeks and lots of fun announcements um, and special like promo codes and all those things. Um, go to atikamal.com and sign up for my email list. And... Anything else, Bray? We love you. We love you. We love you so much. I love you more than anything. Don't tell my family that. <laughs> and my boyfriend and my dog. Ah, Milo. Shout out, Milo. Um, love you guys. Have an awesome day or night or afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Find us on Instagram and send us some love. We will see you guys next week. Happy dancing. Bye -bye.